Well, you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can create a full system image backup inside windows 10 now i know a lot of people are not happy with windows 10 but i still have to cover some of the topics on windows 10 just in case someone is uh looking for it or people have asked for it also so bear that in mind so anyway what we're going to do is quickly create a backup of uh, windows 10 this will be a full backup here so we're going to come down to the button here click on this and then what we're going to do is type in this little search search the web and windows we're going to type in here file history and once you do that you should see up the top here file history control panel click on that and this will open up this box here once you've opened this box up you want to come down to the bottom left hand side here and you can see system image backup you want to click on that And once you've done that, you should get this box popping up. And you can see here we've got the options to create a system image and also create a system repair disk. That's also another good option to uh, cover as well. And I'll probably do that in another video. So we're going to create a system image here. Click on this. This will then start to scan your system. Uh, just notice there, it says backup and restore Windows 7 on there. So that must be... Uh, some sort of issue there with Windows 10 but anyway we've created uh, that scan now and what it's done is it's detected a hard drive on the system and you can see here this is an external uh, Western Digital my passport drive that is detected to back up that image too okay and that's very important that you do that because obviously you want it on a separate drive compared to the drive you're backing up now you can create a uh, one or more DVDs of a backup if you wish by just putting this uh, tab in there like so and you can also back up across the network if you wish okay if you've got that all set up and configured but we're going to be doing this to an external hard drive I'm going to click next here now it's going to give you the option to back up what you want to uh, send across so you can see here we've got C drive and also system uh, reserve uh, system uh, you can see here now if you add other partitions on that drive ie you add a separate drive for say an archive or storage or something like that they will be listed here and you can choose to start to back those up if you wish okay but we haven't got that option here we've just got the C drive now it would be listed here and you could click on that and change what you want to back up okay so we're going to click on uh, start backup and this is going to send this to our E drive Okay, so that's now completed as you can see. It says, do you want to create a system repair disk? Now this is advisable to do this at this stage, just in case you want to recover from that uh, system repair disk, you can then boot to the system repair disk and restore that image. And we'll cover this in another video. So I'm gonna say no for this, but you should really create one at this stage. So you can see here now we've got the backup is now successfully completed and I'm going to close this off. So let's just close this off. Okay, so now we have created our full system image backup of Windows 10 and it should be saved in the location to where we saved it to. In this case, ours was saved to our E drive, which is our uh, external uh, My Passport drive. And you can see it creates a folder in there called Windows Image Backup and inside there there's another folder with loads of other folders which has our backup in now you want to install this by uh, a recovery cd or you want to do this by a window cd and you see me uh, skip that option but you should really create a recovery cd or use your window cd to recover uh, this image if the system is then corrupted or it's got malware on it or you just want to restore it back to that image when you created it okay and I'll show you how to quickly do that so we're going to reboot the system and change the boot order uh, to boot to either CD or USB flash drive depending on how you're going to be booting to your device so let's try and do that now and uh, put this system back okay so we're going to enter the BIOS here now your BIOS may be different to this it may be the UEFI BIOS uh, but as you can see here uh, what we're going to do is come up to where it says boot 
on the top tabs here as you can see by using your cursor keys and we're going to change the boot order to the boot to CD-ROM drive so you can see that here what I need to do now is hold the shift key and hit the plus key and this will move this up to the top here like so then I need to exit out and save uh, settings by clicking F10 say yes to this and it will boot to the CD well uh, this will have our Windows disk inside there so I'm going to hit enter to boot to that CD okay we're going to hit next here and then we want to come down to where it says repair your computer then we want to go to troubleshoot and then if you go into where it says uh, advanced options here you can see system image recovery click on that choose the target so we're going to say Windows 10 it's going to scan the system now as you can see here it's found the actual image that's the latest image here that it wants to install so you can install the latest image this is recommended this is the very latest one that you've done or you can select your own image if you've got other ones that you wish to uh, uh, put back onto the system so we're going to click next here so select this if you want to delete any uh, any existing partitions and reformat all disks on this computer to match the layout of the system image so you can do that there and you can hit the exclude disks if you wish we're just going to quickly go next here and then click finished and then you see here it will say um, all disks to be restored will be formatted and replaced so we're just going to quickly say yes here make sure you got all your data backed up if you wish to uh, do that before you continue and then we're just going to let this restore this image back now this will, will take some time so please be patient so that's now complete and we can now restart so that's the system restore of that image that we created earlier and that's all now completed the system is now back up and running and as you can see so if you did have any problems like malware or anything like that on the system or you just wanted to put that image back on uh, to put it back because you've got a corrupt windows or something like that then that's how you can also restore the image i hope this one helps you out guys my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos if you've got any problems with your computers you can always head over to the forums uh, the information's on the screen right now okay now if you've got any video requests or anything like that then please post them over on the forums i'll do my best to make those videos for you thanks again for watching bye for now